guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel today, guys. Um, today's video again is sponsored by Banggood.com, and this is my non-biased review of the SG eighteen o two, which is a one eighteen scale truck. From looks of it, it, underneath, it's basically a copy of the FTX Outback Mini. Well, after running it for a little bit in the video, you're about to see, there's a few things I don't like about it. A, it's too fast. Or like the throttle response on it's a bit too fast when you change it on the controller it doesn't really help it just makes it worse uh, it's pretty gutless it it may not show it in the video but we had to run it at least three or four times over the course and it would you would be pressing full throttle on the trigger and it would just be sitting there making a whole load of noise not moving Meanwhile, every other 118th, 116th scale truck I have would at least get the tyres spinning or the motor would overpower the drivetrain enough to get the wheels to spin to help you bounce over whatever object you're wanting to get over. So another, another gripe is the front steering. It's chassis mounted uh, 9 gram servo and there's no pan hard bar. So it's a very, very bump steering. So when you're trying to crawl down stuff and you've got one wheel up in the air, that wheel's always pointed that way. It doesn't matter if you're steering it that way, it's going that way. You'll see it in the video when you're trying to get over stuff. Uh, only way I can probably recommend to solve this is axle mount the servo instead of chassis mount it or put a pan hard bar in. So really it's not meant to be a crawler in my eyes. It's too fast. The, the throttle response, it's a bit a bit lacking, let's say about that. But today's video is sort of a challenge between who's the better driver. Me or the girl behind the camera. Come here, come on. Because the UK has been in lockdown again so as the UK has been in lockdown again we've not really been allowed out uh, my last video that was literally the day before we went into lockdown so I came up with the weird idea of to see who's better at crawling between me and her so we decided to use this truck we set up a indoor course in my bedroom so, I'll let you see the carnage that's happened.
Look at Chad. You can hand hand of God. Hand of God. You, you can hand it. You can move it on to the next bit. You can pop it onto the next. Go straight, yeah. Like if you're going into the wall, straighten. There you go. A bit of match. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, right where it belongs. Right, thank you for watching guys, and yes, it was right that it belongs in the bin at the end of the video, because it's too fast for crawling. All I've got to say is thank you for watching, and good night. Literally sat here and editing the end of the video, I thought, you know what, I'll switch it back on, give it a little shot on the table. And uh, it would move, get so far, and then randomly start bogging and like talk twisting like that and not move. And then all of a sudden it broke loose and uh, went forwards. Yeah. So that axle is, uh, well, the axle shaft is gone. I've looked at the hex, hex is fine. You can see inside, I don't know if you'll see it on camera, but the inside's still moving when I spin the wheel by hand. So it's something, an axle shaft or something has gone. But to back up my point, there is better things out there in this price range than this. Thank you for watching and goodbye.